So today I'm tackling my TBR and some of these books have been on my shelf for about many years and some have been on it for about five days but I'm actually proud of the amount of books I have on my shelf that I haven't read yet. I feel like it's very little. I see a lot of people buy a whole bunch of books that they never actually read. I definitely push myself to read the books that I buy. So that being said, these are some of my most recent buys. First up is The Atlas 6 by... A few moments later. Olivia. Olive Blake, I don't know, The Atlas 6. I picked it up for about less than a dollar at a thrift store and I was pretty proud of this find because I know that this book is the rage right now, so I'm pretty excited to get into it. I think it's a little magic and breakfast club vibes, but with spice, hopefully. I feel like it's Dead Poet Society, but like magical. What are you talking about? Carpe diem. I literally have no idea what this book is about. So we'll have to wait and see. <laughs> Next is Dance of Thieves by Mary E. Pearson. I read her Kiss of Deception series. It was decent, it was okay. It was one of her older series though, and I know this is newer and has the second book out. I just haven't been able to get started into this one yet. So I don't want to buy the second one without buying the first one. But I heard it's pretty good, so I'm pretty excited to get into this whenever I can. I feel like even though it's a bigger book, it's probably like the same level of readability. Her first series was very younger high school level, and so I'm guessing this is around the same way. I heard it's in the same universe, and I wonder if I'll like it more than her original series. Next is this book called Let It Snow by a few authors actually. There's three holiday romances in here, so I feel like this might have to be my next read considering it's the 21st and Christmas is right around the corner. Um, I love John Green, so I'm really excited to read this, but I haven't picked it up yet because I've been working on other books. So hopefully I'll get it done this December. If not, next is this fat, juicy stack of the Throne of Glass series. See, I only have four books instead of instead of seven or eight i'm honestly not sure how many is in there but i thrifted about three of these and bought one of them for incentive and i think i'm just waiting for the right time to start reading these i feel like it's going to end up being next summer but after i finished house of sky and breath i feel like this is a must I'm an Akatar stan, so I'm definitely ready to get started on this as soon as possible. I know a lot of people like it more than Akatar, so I am nervous, excited. Maybe it'll be my new favorite series, but not yet. Next is the Kingdom of the Wicked series. I think these are the only two books out. I'm honestly not completely sure, but I thrifted both of these as well. As you can see, the books on my TBR are the ones I wasn't planning for, but I knew were popular. So I heard this is really good. I heard people really liked the main character. I heard it's a little spicy. So we know me, I like that, but I am not craving it honestly i think it's still pretty low on my tbr list but i definitely think eventually i will get into it next is where the crawdads sing this book was given to me as a gift so i feel like i have to read it sometime soon because well one there's a movie out and i heard it's pretty good so i feel like i now have more incentive but also it was a gift i kind of think i could fall in love with him he literally told me this is my favorite book here you go. So I think I need to read it now, obviously, since he basically proposed. So it's definitely up there on my TBR list and I will get to it eventually. My grandma also told me I need to get started on it. So I guess I have no choice. This is what I'm saying. Like, I swear I finished all of these books already. I don't have a lot to read. Most of my 
not red ones are in my dorm and that includes the what's it called a little longer than a few minutes later the um why can't i think of what it is rise and ruin siege and storm what we're looking this up ruin and rising shadow and bone oh my god shadow and bone okay so i need to read that series i read the six of crows duology and i watched the show and i'm tuning in for season two whenever it comes out i think it's march and if you haven't seen the teaser here's a little hint for you you need to go watch it um i'm really excited about that yeah that series is definitely on my top priority of my tbr because the show is coming out soon speaking of shows i just finished the summer i turned pretty series so i am desperate to get into someone's hulu account so i can go watch that immediately next is not this book actually but it is sense and sensibility with sea monsters but like what does that mean are there tentacles again it's in my dorm um i just finished this one and I, I don't even know what to say about this book. There was so much that happened. Um, ninjas? I had no idea Pride and Prejudice needed zombies, ninjas, and cannibalism, but it did, apparently, and I'm not mad at it. Mm -mm. This is next level. Maybe I should be, but I mean, look how sick that cover is. Anyways, I'm actually surprised by how little books on there I haven't read. And what this is telling me is that I need to go buy more books and dispose of all my money immediately. I will be putting down my cash app below so you can send me any money for books. <laughs> if you would like to donate to help my cause, go ahead and you can send me as much money as you would like, food, flowers, reading glasses, whatever, whatever, to help me be the best reader I can of 2023. So far, my reading list of 2023 is very short, so I definitely need to hit the bookstore, which I'm not mad at. For 2023, I'm hoping to read more women's fiction and actual literature and not just romance. And kind of expand my genres a little bit. And also, maybe hit up a library or two. Whoa, 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 whoa. Or listen to more things for free on Audible. And I also want to spend less time on my phone and spend more time reading books. That is something I would encourage everyone to do. I hope you guys have an amazing holiday season and I can't wait for a new year of books. So like this video if you liked this video. Subscribe if you want to see more book content. And... I'll see you next year.